Hi, welcome to Jade Kind Gaming. I am Adam. Today I have an unboxing of Magic the Gathering. It's been a while since I've gotten really uh, much new magic at all. Um, this is the Deck Builders Toolkit for the Shadows over Innistrad, right? Yeah, Shadows over Innistrad. Um, so I finally got a little bit of this set, um, which I mean it's like I think less than a month or about a month until the uh, uh, the next set comes out. Um, but I finally got some of this. Um, Innistrad, the original back in the day was uh, was really one of my one of my favorites. Um, it was what got, you know I'd started to get essentially it was the news of that set got me back in um, back when I was away at school. Um, and then you know I, I you know still to this day now the set that I have most of is that one. Um, so I did want to get at least some of this um, the sort of return to that plane. Um, and it's Deck Builder's tools, Toolkit, so it'll have whatever that includes, 285 cards. 100 are lands, uh, 125 are semi-random cards, um, which you'll see, they're sort of packets that partially random, not completely, uh, from a select list. And then there's four 15-card boosters um, from recent sets, so there should be at least some... Uh, at least one booster that'll be actually Shadows Over Innistrad, plus probably some of the others from just before. And I actually haven't gotten sets in a while, so I figured that would at least get me some cards from a couple of the sets that I've missed uh, lately. Anyways, let's check it out. Also, of course, comes in the nifty box, which are, for me, they're great for travel. Yeah, the box has sleeve. And there's the box itself. The gathering on the top. The I believe that's the symbol for this set. We'll see when we see the cards. And this cool nifty mist texture. Uh, divider, because the box holds more cards than it comes with. Um, a rules reference insert. Which is the very basics the rules, uh, parts of a turn in order. I have friends that do not put as much attention to that as I would like. It doesn't actually break things, it just annoys me when they untap their uh, creatures after, you know, they've done their thing. And then this whatever, okay. Okay, so here's whatever, the color uh, breakdown with some cool art. It almost be a poster, except I wouldn't want to put a poster with that many folds up. Uh, and then how to build a deck. Some basic uh, instructions in there. Give some advice to people that, you know, because obviously Deck Builder's Toolkit, it is designed for people that are new to it and building it. So we got, okay, two Shadows over Innistrad and two Battle for Zendikar. So both sets I don't have any of. Yay. And then we got... These are the semi-random and lands. So that was what was in the box. Let's see here what we got. Um, this is probably all lands, or maybe that is. Let's go for the lands first, because it'll give me a good chance to. Yeah, it'll be all lands. To correct our zoom, and then adjust our focus. <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, lands from the set. No, that that symbol I believe was the planeswalker symbol. The one in the box, <laughs> or something like that, because that's obvi obviously that's the symbol for the set. Um, and I know these are the right lands because we have these, forget they are, like clue stones or something like that. Uh, each of the lands, that's actually a really pretty one. <laughs> yeah, lots of lands, which of course, pretty art. Most pretty on the eye ones always, just because those are what I like. <laughs> so yeah, there's some of the lands, I'm sure there's some more elsewhere.
Okay. So we have Unknown Shores. That's another land, but uh, they added the new colorless mana uh, symbol, which of course makes perfect sense. Um, but it was cool that they did that. Um, and actually, I think that's the first one I've gotten that actually has it. All right, so we get some uncommons. All right, yeah. Just, uh, oh, one, two, one for one, that's why. Uh, whatever, yeah. <laughs> um, I believe are these Battle for Zendikar, I think? Not sure. Let's read them. Landfall. Tap, add one man, another land that you can use to search for more lands. Looks like. Okay, anyways. Commons. Of course, pause or slow motion the video if you want to see more. Another uncommon, destroy target attacking creature, not too bad. Uh, artifact, equipment, equipped the creature gets plus two, plus two, and has menace. Okay. Plus one, plus one, and haste. Ooh, and Eldrazi. Just love the, the art continues down into the bottom. <laughs> so yeah, obviously they are cards from recent sets. Some of them are from the Shadows of Ranastra. Uh, uncommon Eldrazi. When it attacks, defending player exiles two permanents he or she controls. I believe these are the semi-random, which means you might get pretty much like this little packet of cards that have all these same cards in them exactly, or you might get a different one that has different cards. Ew. Grotesque indeed. <laughs> Another. Oh, I gotta get me centered again. Oh, are we gonna get the full uh, set of two of these? Uh, I enjoy the ones that come into the battlefield tapped. I do not like the ones that cause damage when they come in. Oh, full set of two of all ten. Nice. I don't know if that's the semi-random. Uh, no, it's probably actually still part of the lands set, so most likely you're getting all of those, as well as, what is this? Um, enters tapped. When it enters the battlefield, add one mana of any color to your mana pool, and then, so a color of your choice when it enters, and then colorless thereafter. So that probably also all counts as, like, everyone gets probably just the other two packs that are really the summer random. Oh, and we have, of course, a rare from white. Um, what set is that? 16. I don't know, maybe it's a promotional thing. <laughs> um, anyways, so, Aegis Angel, flying... Let it enters the battlefield. Another target permanent gains indestructible for as long as I control this. Not bad. Our Sphinx flying. Pay three, draw a card, and put a plus one, plus one counter on this. Not bad. Nightmare flying. Its power and toughness are each equal to the number of swamps you control. Uh, flying. Plus one, plus zero until end of turn for one red. And, of course, the green is the one that doesn't have flying. It has trample. Whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield under my control, you may draw a card. Let me draw a card. Then, of course, our uncommons. Uh, again, from that 16. I'm not, just not familiar with what set that actually was. 
sure it's one of the ones that was recent that I missed, because as I said, I missed quite a few of the recent, and pretty much since Tarkir, I don't think I've gotten very much at all. Um, certainly been a bit that I've wanted, but, well, you get what you can. <laughs> I wonder if that was the symbol for Magic Origins, if they actually included, because I think, I mean, that may have been it, because I think the one, I mean, that was the, our, you know, final uh, core set, so maybe they, they did that, you know, because they switched to the, the set of core set and a three block, and three set block, they switched to two two set blocks each year and got rid of the quote unquote core <laughs> well, that's probably what that was from it's probably the symbol for that so yeah those were the stacks of semi-random cards now we get these Let's start with some battles for Zendikar. Yeah, it's been a while since I got an open a booster. <laughs> Focus a bit because it's a lower stack of cards. Of course, we get through our commons. All right, let's see. Our uncommon, uh, Serene Stewart. Whenever you gain life, pay one white, and if you do, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. Pretty good to get out so early in the game, especially in a white deck where you'll be gaining plenty of life. A land, tap to add <laughs> one colorless before they had that new symbol. I thought this was the set where they added that. No, maybe it was the one after this. Anyways, the uh, a Eldrazi Uncommon and let's see our rare Endless One X. It enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it, so it's its power and toughness are both equal to whatever you pay for it. Not bad. And a full full card art, full land, full art swamp, whatever. Beautiful land. Eldrazi Sky on Token. I do enjoy my tokens. So, not bad so far. We have our second battle for Zendikar booster. We get our commons, of course. This is the set before. I think the last set where they had that instead of saying they're having their own colorless symbol. These are uncommons. Retribution deals five damage divided as you choose among any number of target attacking or blocking creatures. We get this plant creature that's a defender for one, zero, three. And whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you gain a life. Not bad. There your thrall. When it dies, put a 1-1 one, one Karas Eldrazi Sky, which I just got the token for, uh, which can be sacrificed to add a mana. Mythic! Ooh, nice! Nine mana, Eldrazi. Your opponents can't cast spells with even converted mana costs 
Zero is even. Your opponents can't block with creatures with even converted mana costs. That almost feels like the kind of thing that would go with like an unglued or an unhinged. <laughs> but I guess it does. It feels alien, which I guess is what they were going for with the Eldrazi. Very cool. Uh, full art island, yay, so pretty. And another different art Eldrazi Sky. So those were the two Battle for Zendikar boosters. Now we have our two shadows over in a stride. The moment we've all been waiting for, or at least I. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just glad you're sticking around to see what I get. I just loved the flavor for these. Alright, so our commons. We got Unruly Mob, Pieces of the Puzzle, Robin Inspector, Apothecary Geist, Stallion of Ashmouth, Intrepid Provisioner, Howl Pack Wolf, Vessel of Na Nasin Nasin that that word. Twins of more estate madness. Our uncommons, Cult of the Waxing Moon, a human shaman that whenever a permanent you control transforms into a non-human creature, put a 2-2 green wolf creature token onto the battlefield. Oh yeah, because the set brought back the uh, that mechanic too. Essence Flux, uncommon... Exile target creature you control, then return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control. If it's a spirit, put a plus one plus one counter on it. So, uh, one mana and a couple possible uses. Um, Ulrich's Kindred? It's a wolf, trample, target attacking wolf or werewolf gains indestructible until end of turn for four. Our rare is Alt Altered Ego, which isn't exactly cheap. A green, a blue, two colorless, or two of any color, and then uh, X. It can't be countered, and you may have it enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield, except it enters with X additional plus one plus one counters on it. Oh, that's good. Then we get our, our flipping one, which is a common... And at the beginning of each upkeep, if no spells were cast, transform it. It transforms into Timber Shredder with Trample, and if a player casts two or more spells last turn, it transforms back. So we have our Werewolf, a Land, and a Clue Token, which is a mechanic used in this set. Alright, the last of the cards that I get here. Comments. Nagging Thoughts, Chaplin's Blessing, Jace's Scrutiny. Yeah, I think the storyline of this is him trying to trace down the clues. Warped Landscape, Sanitarium Skeleton, Shard of Broken Glass, Byway Courier. Grotesque Mutation, Insolent Neonate, our Uncommons, Trail of Evidence, an Enchantment. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, investigate, which is put a colorless clue artifact token like I just got onto the battlefield with pay two, sacrifice this, and draw a card. Obsessive. Skinner. When it enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. Delarium. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, if there are four or more card types among cards in your graveyard, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. Ooh, get the right cards in your graveyard, that's pretty good. 
enchantment crawling sensation. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a, the top two cards of your library into your graveyard. Gee, wonder why you might want that. And then whenever one or more land cards are put into your graveyard from anywhere, for the first time each turn, put a 1-1 green insect creature token onto the battlefield. Okay. Our rare is the Scourge Wolf for 2 red. It's a 2-2 with first strike, and it has double strike as long as you have four or more different types of cards in your graveyard. Uh, uncommon, we got Daring Sleuth for our transforming card. It's a 2-1 for 2. And when you sacrifice a clue, transform it. And it becomes Bearer of Overwhelming Truths. It has prowess. So whenever you cast a non-creature spell, this creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. And whenever it deals combat damage to a player, investigate, which is add a clue token. It doesn't turn back. It becomes just a 3-2 with some cool abilities. Uh, the card needed with the proper back to check mark to put these without using uh, card like deck sleeves and an ooze token. Uh, that takes the place of the land. Yeah, so lots of cards. 285, actually. Uh, <laughs> the Shadows Over Innistrad Deck Builders Toolkit. Clearly enough cards to build a couple decks. I've actually, in some of the previous ones I have, I've just for the fun used just the cards in them and built a couple decks to go against each other. They're not you know, tournament, de tournament decks or anything, but they're, they're enough to just have fun with your friends. And at the very least, I have you know, cards from more of the modern sets now, which I, I enjoy um, having. So, uh, it's, you know, because it has that mix, it, it does a, a good, at least, uh, you know, with the way that I organize my cards, uh, just like the bulk of my cards that aren't in decks or anything, I actually have them divided by set, and so I like to have at least some in uh, behind each divider. <laughs> um... And so because of that, I, I like things like this to help me make sure that I get, you know, cards from from all, all the different places. But yeah, as I said, that was the Deck Builders Toolkit. I will find and link somewhere online where you can pick one up yourself. Um, and they, every couple sets or so, they, they seem to be putting one of these out. So, um, you know, I love the, the, the theme behind the, uh, the Shadows of Rannistrad, so I wanted to make sure I got some of those cards and... A couple of the transforming cards are cool. Um, but, you know, if you if that's not the flavor you like, there's deck builders toolkits from, you know, various different sets. They've had they've had several. I've even, I think this is like the third different one I've unboxed on here. Um, so you can check my channel for, for other deck builders toolkits. But anyways, that was the one for Shadows Over Innistrad. Link to where you can find it below, or of course check out your friendly local gaming store. Uh, otherwise, just have a good day. Bye.